You could be wrong. It's okay. You could be wrong theoretically. Just don't anticipate. Don't guess. Don't forecast. Don't anticipate a move. Wait till it confirms. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, weekend update show. It is not the weekend yet. It is uh, quarter to five. The market just closed about 45 minutes ago. It's Friday. Usually I would not be doing these broadcasts, uh, especially after a long week. But I got 8,000 uh, basketball games this weekend, so this is literally the only time uh, I have a chance to kind of share my thoughts. So here's the debate, right? Here's the debate right now, right? Um, the bull case is, that's it. This is a bull market, right? Bull market, everything is great. The bear market, the bear case is, this is nothing but a dead cat bounce. Who cares? Honestly, what do you care? Who cares at this day and age? what you want to call this, right? Whatever you want to label this, it is what it is. We're 20% below, excuse me, 20% above, long week, 20% above the June lows, both on the S&P and the NASDAQ, right? We've, we've seen countless of companies come out with earnings, say some horrific, horrific stuff, cut their labor force, and just absolutely explode. You had Peloton, some sort of PR came out this morning that they're going to start closing stores. They're cutting workforce. The only thing they didn't say today was they're going chapter 11. I mean, and look what the stock did. So does it look at this stage of the game, call it what you will, potato, potato, blah, 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 blah. The market is incredibly hot right now. Uh, it's way above the 50 day moving average. We're rallying now for a month. You got 3% gains. Uh, all across uh, the board, the S&P, the five, the S&P, uh, the NASDAQ and the Dow all rose uh, 3% this week. And the moral of the story is, again, who cares, right? Absolutely, who cares? It's not about being right. It's not about the clicks and the shares and the tweets and the smash the like button, bro, right? It's about putting yourself in a situation that you know what the hell is going on, you know which way the wind is blowing, and you're trying to attack that side of the market on a prudent way, feasible way, after doing a feasibility study, you research all the, all the cases involved to put yourself in this next day of situation, not next month, not next year. I don't care that Tesla was at 1200 a year ago. I don't care that Tesla was at 500 a year ago. Nothing cares. Speaking of Tesla, how crazy is that, right? How crazy is that? I was, if you guys watched the video last night, um, I was watching Tesla to the downside today, right? There was, a, there was a range down here on Tesla that we were watching. We were watching this range down here, 850 to the downside, 895 to the upside. And I even said last night's video, well, hell, this thing keeps on getting rejected off the 60 day, uh, 60 minute supply. Well, doesn't it have to go down? And the funny thing is today, it tested the bottom of the channel again, never got under the 850, thank God, right? Never got under the 850, traded down to 855. It would have been really bad if it traded below 850, but the point is it held the bottom of the range and started moving up. And again, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second, but you're starting to see a really, really big stairways to heaven. And now we're very, very close. Again, we'll get to Tesla in a second. But the most important part is, guys, and again, this is especially for new traders. We get all the data, right? There's all this data coming out, inflation readings, Use U.S. Treasury yields, and again, I'm reading these. These are not words I use in, in everyday vocabulary, right? You got Treasury yields remaining large in check. Somebody please explain to me what that means. Okay. You got inflation readings that are supported peak inflation narrative. Okay. This is all nonsense. Guys, enjoy what, what we have now, right? You see a lot of people when the market was coming in, in the seven months that we were in sell buys below the 50 day moving average, well, this is light volume, uh, you know, the market will get bought, never happy, right? Now we're above the 50 day moving average. Well, this is just a dead cat bounce, right? The, the, the low should be coming soon. When are you gonna be happy, right? When are you gonna be happy? How, how can you possibly go through life and, and with this half glass empty mentality, enjoy what you got, not what you wanna have, not what you think is gonna happen, 
enjoy what you have on a day-to-day -day basis. The market was going down for seven months. Everybody's upset. Sit in your hands, cash is a position. Now the market's going up. Well, it's only going up. It's on light volume and it's all because... Relax, right? Just relax. Learn to smile. Life is not that serious, right? Trading shouldn't be a, 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 a fundamental exercise that you're burning out your brain cells trying to convince somebody that you will never meet on the internet how right you are. Enjoy the day, right? Enjoy the day, enjoy the experience, enjoy your growth, enjoy your development. Who cares about if you're wrong, right? Everybody's wrong every single day. I came in today looking for coin and Tesla to, to, to breach their downward channels. Coin and Tesla, one of the biggest movers to the upside today, right? You could be wrong, it's okay. You could be wrong theoretically. Just don't anticipate, don't guess, don't forecast, don't anticipate a move, wait till it confirms. Nobody cares, right? Nobody's keeping score. Everybody will still like you, right? Everybody will be friends. We're wrong every single day. As husbands, wives, parents, workers, cousins, anything under the sun, you're gonna be wrong in trading. It's okay, right? It's absolutely okay to be wrong. Just don't stay wrong, right? Don't stay wrong, accept the data, and if the data confirms, all ships ahead, right? If the data doesn't confirm, well, guess what? There's an other side of the channel that you can take advantage of. And again, we just it, it, the market just keeps on steaming. Even when you think the market's gonna have a res day, right? It just keeps on going. Everything we kind of talked about last night, even the energy names woke up, right? You got the Devon, right? That we talked about last night and the VLO both confirmed uh, both confirmed uh, their 50-day moving average. You got Schwab that we talked about last night. You know, the, the financials are going higher. Technology woke up again today. Well, you know, again, we'll, we'll get to the pivots in a second. So the most important thing is, guys, just don't overthink, right? Everybody wants to be smart. You know, I, I think I'm the only person on, on the planet who's trying to convince you I'm the biggest idiot in the world, right? The, the, again, I know nothing. The only thing we know is what these lines are what they entail and what happens when buyers clean up sellers and what happens when sellers clean up buyers. That's it. I know absolutely nothing else. And that's the way to stay grounded. That's the way to look at the market from a very, very unbiased approach. Because what happens is if you tie yourself in, into a bias, if you put yourself in a corner, you're going to be trading out of that bias. And sometimes when you see the tidal wave come, right, you want to go with the tidal wave, not against it. So let's talk about, uh, you know, let's talk about it, right? So Q's... Again, just absolute monsters. It looks like if we can start building now above, what is it, the 150-day moving average? We were talking about the 50, we talked about the 20. Now we're at the 150-day moving average, right? So if we can start putting in a base next week above 331 on the queues, man, we got 335 coming up. And if you're looking for a little bit longer projection, we got, what, 340s on deck? But again, one day at a time, one trade at a time. We still need to build above 331 uh, to get to 335. Uh, when you look at the IWM, again, these are the small cap stocks. This is what represents violence. This is what represents, you know, uh, uh, speculation money flow. I'll show you a couple of pivots we had today. Phenomenal moves in smaller cap names, right? That's the point. Everything is going. So stop, you know, again, stop overthinking. Uh, the IWM, first time in a long time, closed above the 200-day moving average. That is really, really good, right? Uh, you got the SPYs, same thing. SPYs, look at the move, 20% uh, above the June lows. Uh, you know, the SPYs look like they're getting, you know, they want to get to this 431 level, which is the 200-day moving average. So look, the market is good. Again, like I say every single day, the market is not going to go straight up. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to get the top of your moves. You're going to have rest days, but just understand the difference. When the market goes down, the market's not red because the market wants to go lower. The market's red because stocks need a rest. The market won't go down, technically, until we lose the 50-day moving average. So look how far we are above the 50-day moving average. So again, my piece of advice, especially for new traders, forget about everything. Forget about the opinions, forget about the noise, forget about the inflation numbers and the CCI and the PPI and the ABC and the LSD and all the stuff that I crap, that we, they, they bombard down your throat every single day. That's it. This is it. This is all you need in the world. This is the, this is the most wonderful thing that you can give yourself, the greatest gift you can give yourself, and it's called technical analysis. That's what we sell here, baby, right? We sell the idea that those charts, those lines, those candles are every piece of the puzzle that you have a high probability of knowing what happens next. And if they do confirm, pretty neat and pretty cool things 
uh, usually follow. So let's talk about today. Uh, really super aggressive day. Again, uh, I came in today. I said, yo, man, let's, you know, I don't have a lot of value today, right? A again, here's the whole point. Here's this morning, you know, 895 to the upside, right? 850 to the downside. Let's see what happens, right? I was, I was thinking, hey, this thing's going to confirm down. It didn't go up for the last couple of days. Never got it down to 850, right? Got down to 855. It's stalled there. And all of a sudden, you see this massive, nasty volume and really, really aggressive move going up to the upside, right? So that didn't confirm to the downside. It confirmed later 895, but there was a sneakier pivot. We'll talk about that uh, in a second and the significance of that going into next week. Again, here's another example. 82.30 coin, right? I love coin going into today to the downside. 82.30 for bills below can flush, right? Okay, right? Here we go. You know, so here's another one. Here's another one. Here's coin. I said, you know, let's watch the 82, 82.30 break. You know, stock goes to 83.30 and then rallies, never gets to the bottom of the range. Again, this is why we don't anticipate. This is why we don't guess. We wait for those numbers to confirm. So again, this thing exploded higher, but it wasn't all, right? That's not all. Everything started going higher with it. So uh, Boeing never got to the 171.75 uh, level. Guys, set an alert for this thing next week. This thing looks really good. Uh, 71, 75 rejected twice needs to build. Look at the Boeing chart. Look how tight it's getting, right? Don't anticipate. Wait for it to confirm, right? 171, 75 got rejected once. 171, 75 got rejected twice. Can you guess what the pivot is, right? 171, 75. Keep an eye on this thing uh, for next week. Looks really, really good. Rivian, nice little move on Rivian. Uh, reverse after earnings. Again, another uh, another example, you know, the stock could come out with crappy earnings and da da da, da the stock will go higher. Uh, 40 needs to build. Here was uh, Rivian, right? Here was Rivian, took out this whole channel here, went right to supply, not a big move, went up 50, 60 cents and got rejected into supply. It would need to get above that level uh, to start moving higher next week. Again, not a big move at all. Here were the big moves of all things. It was the smaller cap names, right? RXRX of all things, right? How many times have you heard me say this symbol? RXRX, 1125 needs to build, right? Here's RXRX, right? Just an absolute explosion here. RXRX, 1125, traded all the way up to 1215, still has room for 1250s for next week. And then you have all the energy names that we talked about in last night's video. Valero, first close over 115, the 50 day moving average. That's super important because again, the 50 day moving average is, you know, it's kind of important. So here, first close over, not a big move yet, but first close over 115. That is super duper bullish. Keep an eye on this thing for next week. Uh, uh, Devon, right? Devon Energy, we talked about the same thing last night. 6490, 65 needs to build. Again, not a big move yet, but again, these are not Teslas. These are not, you know, stocks that are gonna go nuts, but here's your first move here. Uh, it took out the 115, traded up to 6580. Uh, again, confirmed this channel has room all the way up to 68 uh, for next week. And then here, if you thought this RXRX was good, look at this crap, right? ALT, 1390, 14 needs to build. I said there's a shot this thing goes. I didn't think it was going to go, right? I thought this thing had a shot at 15, 16. This damn thing went absolutely out of its mind and traded to $18.5 from this break of 14 bucks out of its mind. Again, try to convince somebody this is not a bull market, right? Again, call it whatever you want, but it's pretty damn cool, right? Pretty damn cool. So that was big as well. Uh, shop, uh, 42 sneaky area for experienced traders need to build. Everything started confirming a little bit late in the day. So Shopify, again, still needs that 42 break. As you can see here, you see this 42 area, right? This whole 42 area here. This is what needs to break for next week. So again, this is this is what we talk about. Sneaky pivots, sneaky pivots. Just watch this area for next week, right? It's not up here. It's not down here. It's this 42 area here that needs to uh, confirm up here. Uh, do, 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 do. Amazon, again, Amazon. I love, 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 love the setup for next week. Hasn't triggered yet. Don't anticipate it. But look at the setup here. Uh, 142.30 rejected twice. Again, same thing as Shopify. The only difference is Amazon confirmed it. Sneaky area for experienced traders needs to build. So here is Amazon, right? It's the same thing, same concept. So here's the 42.30, right? This whole area here, right? 42.30, right? 42.30, 42.30, 42.30. Finally confirmed the 42.30. This is a bad tick. It's traded up to, it's trading up about a dollar above the pivot. Look at the setup next week for Amazon, man. If Amazon can just get above this channel, look how tight it's getting. 
if Amazon could just get above this channel right over here, man, this thing could really light up. So let's definitely keep an eye on Amazon. And again, here's the whole point, 87.50. And this is where, this is the whole point is we're trying to find an entry below the 850. Thank God we couldn't get it, right? So here's the whole point. I'll show you the upside pivot on, on Tesla in a second. ALT 15 on deck and then ALT 16 on deck. And then, and then after everybody got out, the damn thing almost went to 19. So here is again, a perfect example, guys, what we talk about. Don't fall in love with the side of the market, right? Don't fall in love with the ticker. Fall in love with technical analysis. We wanted to, you know, we loved the setup to the downside, right? We loved it going into today. It didn't confirm. So whatever doesn't go down must go, right? So here is a, the, the opposite equations. Okay, so I got a couple of different scenarios. 870 potential remount for experienced traders. Remount just means potential bounce spot off the rising 60 minute support. It never got to this 870 bounce spot. But here's where the trade started, right? So 885 is the 10 day supply, okay? And if you've been watching this video or watched uh, any of the PS60 workshops, you know that the 10 day supply is the birth of the trade. I just, that's something I just called it, okay? There's no significance of it. It's just something I confirmed. Uh, in my mind a long time ago, so I ran with it. So 885 is 10 day supply, huge, huge area. Not one huge, do it, right? Two huges. If bulls can reclaim, if bulls can reclaim this 85, then it should test 895 yesterday's highs. Then we discuss macro area. So here's Tesla, right? Here's Tesla. So it stopped initially at 885. You see this green line, right? It stopped at 885. And then it took out 895, right? It took out 895 and stopped right on supply here at 900. Everybody see that? The 900 area. Here's the kicker, man. They were coming. If you, if you, if anybody has uh, any option scanners, and there's a lot. Like I use uh, Flow Algo, for example. But there's a lot of them. There's Cheddar, Blackbox. Uh, there's uh, uh, TradeAlert.com. They're all pretty comparable. Okay. If you see the option flow for Tesla. They were coming for millions and millions and millions of dollars for next week's 950 calls, right? Nonstop, absolutely nonstop for next week's 950 calls. And that would make sense because the top of the earnings area is 941. Here's where the stock gets really, really aggressive, right? Because the, the trade technically hasn't even started macro, right? If Tesla can just get above this channel right over here, right? If Tesla can just get above this channel over here, then this thing has a shot to earnings highs. And if it confirms earnings highs, then it has a shot all the way up to 960 here, where all those millions of dollars worth of premium that were bet today going into next week. We shall see, said the blind man, we shall see. So guys, the most important thing is health, happiness, put a smile on your face. Nobody should be ever living life with a puss on their face or half glass empty reality, right? Life is what you make of it. It's all about the memories. It's all about your family. It's all about the, the health and the happiness that you could create around you. It's not about this. Ain't nobody care about this at the end of the day. When it's time to meet God or whoever else you, you pray to or don't pray to, right? Towards the end of eternity, all of this is not gonna matter. It's all about how good of a person you are, your time on earth, and the experiences that you built and you shared. Guys, God bless. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Wish nothing but health and happiness. And with God's help, again, we'll see each other on Monday. Take care, everybody.